I'm always around kids. I love kids. I mean, I don't think kids are hard to deal with. I feel like you just have to have patience, patience and you do have, you need experience with watching kids. My name's Josiah and I live in Plainfield. Honestly, I have a lot of experience like watching kids because my sister, my sister that's right above me, she has two kids and my niece is three and I've been watching her since she's been born. And she like, she lived with me. So I've always, I've still watched her to this day. I grew up with my grandma and my grandma has an at home daycare. So she always like, she taught me how to like make babies bottles or like if I would have to make the kids lunch or just take them downstairs, do their lessons, you know, stuff like that. So I honestly, I do have a lot of experience. I love dealing with babies. Um, I honestly think some people don't like dealing with newborns because of like the crying. But I feel like if you were to know maybe of why the baby is crying or maybe like if it's gas or teething or changing of a diaper or a bottle, or even if the baby is sleepy, like it's, I feel like it's kind of easy for me to put babies to sleep. I have a little trick I do with the like, on Disney Plus, like they have a little Dory's wreath and it's just um, white noises. So I just do that. And usually when I do that for my, like my nephew, I my room is dark. So I take him in my room and like I put on the noise on the TV and I just let him do what he does until he like settles down and like falls asleep. So I do love holding them like some babies, even though they can't walk, some babies do love to like just stand up and bounce. So even if they have little walkers or anything, I would probably just put them in there for a little bit. Some babies like to crawl and roll around. I'll give them toys, pay me put them in their, in their playpen if they have one, or even just put like a cover on the ground or something on the ground that's soft for them to just maybe have space around the floor or just, you know, just let them do their thing not bother them too much just so they can, you know, do their thing. And if they start crying, maybe it's just time for a different, a different activity for them. Cause I honestly know, I feel like I know the difference between like a pain cry or like a sleepy cry. Like babies tend to like whine a little bit when they're, you know, tired. So when they're just chilling, I, I just, let them do what they do, maybe just give them a few toys and put them in a bouncer or something like that. I've always liked kids. I feel like I would rather get along with kids than rather kids, people my age. Kids can be frustrating, but you just have to have patience because all kids are not the same. You have to figure out kids or whatever, especially newborns because they can't tell you. So you just have to really just kind of have the experience of dealing with, you know, a newborn because they can't tell you. So you just kind of have to figure it out. I'm 18, I turn 19 in June. I'm done with school as of right now, but until I can get like a car, then I'm gonna go to like cosmetology school. I can get Ubers there. My mom helps me with transportation. So I'm not doing anything now. I be at home. So I'm very good on if somebody needs, if she needs another day, then I can really like get that and and like I can help her out I'm really good with that even with my last job I had they did they called me in a lot because I was always the person that they can rely on because I love working I love being productive I, I would rather be having two jobs than just sitting at home mom sub is a service that helps connect moms with providers it might be like a one-time thing like someone needs a sitter on a you know, Saturday night or it might be like every week or something.